It's ten. We gotta get up. Let's go. We got anime expo. Okay, I get it. Hey, it's so annoying. Stop. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Hi. So for the first time in my life, I actually drank alcohol yesterday. This is the first and last time I'm ever drinking alcohol. That shit tastes nasty. <sighs> apparently, I only drunk like a shot's worth of alcohol, which apparently is not a lot. But my body's like, what the. F did you drink yesterday? I will say that it was an interesting experience, but yesterday was pretty fun. So, yeah. This is the first time I'm vlogging something. I don't know how vloggers do it, man. At least with a live stream or a dedicated YouTube video, I can actually have some purpose, but like this has no purpose other than just you watching me experience life. I don't know why people care. Then again, I don't know why people care about the Kardashians, but here we are. So I've been here pretty much all weekend in California, went to Anime Expo, met a lot of people, experienced a lot of things, a lot of LA things, and I can't wait to talk to you guys on a live stream. But for right now, this is just gonna be me in a vlog. So myself and Faith were able to get our hands on a Hollow EN concert ticket of the both of us, which is super cool. The way I got it was very weird and is the reason why I'm doing this video in the first place. Let me go ahead and tell you because I don't think a lot of people know. So I entered a Idol Showdown tournament, which is the Hollow Live fan fighting game. That's super awesome. Shout outs to developers and shout out to everybody who plays it. That tournament was ran by Remy Celeste, big shout outs to you, who was giving away a spare ticket to the concert and whoever entered the tournament was entered in a raffle so the better that you do in this tournament the better the chances are for you getting this ticket so if you get first place you get like a 12 tickets or something like that and if you place last then you get like one ticket or which is one chance of getting the ticket so whatever and I mostly wanted to play in the tournament and I didn't do very well I went like one and two or two and two like I got my ass kicked but I decided to stick around and watch the whole tournament the tournament went sweet Swimmingly, it went awesome. It was really fun to watch. And then it came time to the raffle. So I clicked off. I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna freaking, I'm not gonna earn a, a ticket, a raffle. Are you crazy? So I clicked off. And then I won, apparently. It's the time you've all been waiting for, folks. Who is going to LA to see their Oshi live? Holy shit! I did not script this! That's plot armor. That's main character energy. I can't believe that happened. I was like, oh, Koi Fisher must have made the talk for you. I didn't even know you were in this tournament, man. Everyone who played, everyone who watched, this was super awesome. And, and yeah, I got me a ticket. And apparently these tickets are very hard to get. Because after I got this, I'm like, okay, let's see if Faith can go. And so I was going to be buying another ticket for her. And there was another drop for the tickets of to in the official site. And within like two seconds, they sold out. Yeah, these are very hard tickets to find. But with the help of, what was it again? Oh, you're doing your hair. You have hair in your mouth, literally. Okay, I will explain this while you do your hair. So she got the help from the Amelia Discord, actually. And one of the people there had a spare ticket and we paid it and we got a ticket for her. We are sitting separately, which is fine. We're both able to experience the concert. Big shout outs to Remy Celeste, which is the runner of that tournament. And big shout outs to the Amelia Discord for getting us a ticket. And all of that led us to here. LA. So because of this occasion, I decided to spend some money on a very nice outfit so I can go to this concert and look and feel nice. And a lot of people were telling me to like set up a meet and greet. In actuality, I just want to come here to experience this concert as a viewer, not as a content creator, even though I'm, I'm making a video out of this. And afterwards, I will give you my thoughts and all that good jazz. And who knows, if we meet people along the way, I will film that and get their thoughts too. If there is something that I would say that I want to see in this concert because I will admit I'm not the biggest fan of VTuber music but there are some slappers like of course Stellar Stellar who could forget about Stellar Stellar that shit slaps I hope that Q is 
going to be in this concert. I love that song. It's so freaking good. And hopefully we can see some other bangers as well. Anyways, as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and fill some food in my tummy and put down this camera because it is heavy and my arm is getting tired. And this is my Friday night hentai hand. And we might head off to Anime Expo to finish up some last minute things like merch and other things that we might have missed. And then we'll be back to get ready for the concert. I think I'm going to put these pants on. It gets hot in the convention center, but you know what? I think it's a jean type of day. I'm also going to be wearing my trash taste apparel, the Apari. I'm a shill for them. Those guys are funny and they make my funny bone tickle. And then I'm going to wear my Crocs, my Sonic Crocs. These are the greatest Crocs in the whole wide world. I love them so much. They make me go fast. When it comes to merch at Anime Expo, there's a couple things that I saw that were really cool. They have a Hololive booth there and they had a lot of figures there. They had like an Eno one. They had a really big Pecora one. If I had enough room in my suitcase, I would buy that huge Pecora one in a heartbeat. All right, I'm gonna brush my teethies and also put on some cologne because I wanna smell good. Please, if you ever go to conventions and if you ever go to concerts, smell good. Is this what bloggers do? They just film themselves through, like brushing their teeth? I feel weird. You should brush your teeth. Put on some cologne. I'm wearing some Giorgio Armani cologne. This is the good stuff. And put on some freaking deodorant. Deodorant. Wear it. All right, I'm ready to go to Anime Expo. I'm gonna call Lyft and then go to the convention and buy stuff. That's gonna be fun. It's not as busy as it was yesterday, but still a lot of people here, but that's fine. This place is huge. Man, it never ceases to amaze me how crazy big this place is. Like, holy damn. But well, we're gonna go in and see if we can get some merch and stuff like that. We'll, we won't be here for too long. We'll see what we can do. You know, I usually don't freak out over inanimate objects, but I think I found something that I really, really want to take home as a memento for Anime Expo. And it involves Hololive, so. How much for the Corone Papiu uh, parade? Okay, I'll take just the, the, the one on the top left, the Corone one. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, maybe I should get Okayu too. Should I get Okayu? Yes? Okay, actually, um, could I get the, the one on the right too, the Okayu one as well? I gotta get them, they're a pair. Yeah, that one, that one, thank you. Put on as a business expense. Thank you very much. I got the girls. They're backwards. They're, are they backwards? Oh God, hold on. <laughs> I got had to get them both in a pair because if not, one would be upset and probably one, one would die if the other one wasn't present. So to prevent my statues from dying, I got them both. Can I meet and greet with Yana? She's live right now, answering questions. Sure. Hello. Oh, what you got in the back there, actually? Did you get a good figure? Yeah, I got I got a Ooh. Corone figure, and I had to get the Okayu figure, too, to match with it. Oh, yeah, you, you, you can't yeah, you can't have Corone without Okayu. If one, if I don't get one, the other one dies. So I don't want my statue yeah, dying. Dies. Yeah. It's like a Toho. When you take off their hat and they die, it's pretty much the same thing. What? Oh, Toho? What's a Toho? Oh, he doesn't have Toho. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. my God. Is that bad? So I'm in front of the Hollow Production Good Smile section and also on the Amona section, which is over there. And that's where they're selling the Hollow Tempest merch, which I really wanted to get. And over here, they're selling the figures for the uh, Hollow Live girls. So they have Ina, Pecora, they have Laplace, they have all sorts of different things, but the line is wrapped around the building. And it's a really big area, actually, because it's like a little store inside. Same thing with Amona. It's like a little store on the inside and they have a whole bunch of different merch. It's so freaking cool. I wanted to get the Hollow Tempest stuff, but man, I don't think I'm going to have time to get in line for this and the Omona stuff. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get it because I also want to do other things. I hope that their merch goes up on online, but uh, for now, I got my figures. Corone no Kayu. I'm going to have to be happy with it. So can't win them all, but that's okay. One day, one day I will get Hollow Tempest merch and an Ina figure one day. Change of plans here. We decided to actually stand in line and get the Omona merch. As you can see, we got quite a few things here. It's a lot, but I was able to get the Vesper crossbody bag and the hoodie. Right now I'm in front of the Bushi Road booth. So you got a whole bunch of different cutouts of the Hololive girls. Lots of different cards, lots of different merch here, which is freaking awesome. And here is the lady that called me out on Twitter. Yes, I am a little shit. I'm sorry, Kiara, it is what it is. You have a magnificent laugh, don't get me wrong, but it was really funny it's just really i took it caught me off guard i don't i don't know what to say to you kiara the ina 
figure or the Ina statue that they had actually wasn't available. Or the Pecora one. None of them were available. There were the only select few things. So I didn't wait in line for that. But I did wait in line for the Hollow Tempest merch. I got quite a few things. A shirt. I think I got my shopping done for the day. All right, I think we can get the hell out of here now. Get ready for the concert. Let's go. Well, that was a very nice day at the convention. Got a lot of stuff, you know. Got the the Hollow Live uh, merch or the Hollow Stars, I mean, the uh, Omawa. But now it's time to get ready for the EN concert, which I just took a shower. We are going to get ready. I'm going to show you my fit. So uh, let's see what I let me show you what I got. So I decided to look spiffy. So I got me a nice jacket, nice maroon jacket, which I never I I never had a maroon jacket. It's very nice. It's also fits me a lot better than my old suit that I bought a while ago. I, I don't really, I'm not a suit guy, but I want to be. Nice black short sleeved shirt, but I won't be removing my jacket because I don't know. I, I, I like the jacket look, but if I do remove it, it'll be nice and comfortable for me to wear. And then some uh, black dress pants, which are very nice and very fitted. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed. I'm gonna show you the final attire and then uh, we'll see how it goes. Now, during this whole thing, there's actually some events that are going on prior to the concert starting. There is a thing called Hollow Takeover. It's a really cool group that are doing a lot of really good things. Actually, Domo, if you guys know him, he's doing a bunch of different things for them as we speak. I'm not going to be there. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to enjoy music and enjoy the concert. Oh, oh, and then during Anime Expo. Oh, my God, I can't believe I missed it. But Yago is here, and I'm pretty sure he's here for the concert. But he stopped by Anime Expo, and he stopped by the... Hollow Takeover fan group. They were hosting like a cosplay thing where they have different raffles and different prizes to be given out for cosplays and for stuff like that. And Yago stopped by and bro, everyone freaked out and I missed it. I am so sad. I literally saw almost everybody except for him. And I'm so sad I've missed out. And I'm hoping that one day I'm going to have another opportunity to talk to him or to meet him or to shake his hand, take a picture, whatever the hell, because that man is beautiful. And it was crazy because a bunch of people were circling him. Bunch of people were there. Now it's time for me to do a cool thing and head to the Hollow EN concert. And I'm going to be all spiffified. So I will see you there. Let's take as much footage as possible if we can. Let's see. dedicated fans are going to the basement. <laughs> Love it.
boy, oh boy, oh boy. So it is the next day. Uh, we are going home. This is the final day. We're going to be heading to the airport right now and getting on a plane and going back to my cave where I can reside in and be safe in. <laughs> I wanted to record this yesterday, but after the concert, we actually went to a party and we met up with a lot of people and we got home really late. We were very tired and I didn't want to pull out the camera. So here I am right now before I get on a plane or get to the airport. And I wanted to tell you guys some last minute things and some thoughts about this overall trip. And when I get home, I'm going to be giving you guys details on the concert because I feel like it was really, really fun and I wanted to tell you guys in full detail. But overall, the concert was incredible. As a Hololive fan, I had a blast. I damn near lost my voice. If it went on for like a half hour more, an hour more, I definitely would have lost my voice. Luckily, I didn't and I can still talk to you guys like this. The sheer amount of energy and hype that was in that theater for these Hollow girls was just insanity. And I cannot wait to tell you guys more about it. It just blows my mind how crazy this community and how far it has come I can't grasp it. I just can't. I can't wrap my head around it. Maybe eventually it will, but after seeing the Hollow Festival in Japan, and then after seeing the Hollow Concert over here, I just... This this community is some of the craziest, craziest members I've ever seen. And I can't wait to tell you more about the concert itself. I'm going to wait till I get home. But uh, I just want to tell you guys that the concert was fantastic. Shout outs to the guy that gave me their ticket through that raffle. And shout outs to the person that gave Faith that ticket so she can attend as well and she can experience it too. And uh, But for the most part, I love the hell out of the Hollow Live concert. Experiencing that was once in a lifetime, I feel like. The first ever Hollow EN concert. I went to it, so... I'm pretty happy about that. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the airport and then we're, I'm gonna be in my office and then we're gonna talk about the concert in full detail. I will be recollecting everything. All right, 